What is going on guys? It's the Mad Dragon. We are back in Grounded today. Uh, I logged into the game uh, after we did our bit of our water episode last episode and uh, everything's gone a little bit strange. I'm not sure what's happened. I seem to have spawned back up here with all of my inventory that I had before I started that episode. Uh, so all of these items have now been duplicated. And uh, I actually put them all in this chest before starting the last episode. They're, all of these items are also in here. We've got the three clay and the, the three clay, 11 arrows, 20 arrows, 11 arrows, 20 arrows. So somehow I've duplicated all of my items in here. Uh, it does remember I had one boatman fin. I've lost everything else I had on me to begin with. I've lost my snorkel and my slippers that we made just before the end of the last episode. Uh, it does remember that I've got a bag. <laughs> stuck forever under that uh, opening to the water base and it does remember that I've got all of the raw science that's about and I've still got all of my things I can make in the workbench but it sort of forgot that I've done them before like the uh, the bait lore and stuff is now in there somewhere in fact I oh there's the guild tube yeah it feels like I've never made them the workbench tool it says oh you've also got uh, slime lanterns I've never made uh, the buoyant marker I've never made. I, I, I'm, I'm just really bemused at what's happened here. So the start of today's episode is going to be a little bit different. Uh, I'm basically going to have to go and recollect everything <laughs> that I had last episode just to get back to where we were. Luckily, we still have one boatman fin. I'm sure that'll be useful uh, for a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to go and collect all my stuff again, because that's the way this game's decided to work today. And then once I've got all this stuff, we'll rebuild it all, and we'll try and carry on from where we were last time. Uh, I've also lost my perk that I unlocked, which was annoying. Uh, I no longer have the Mertine perk, or whatever it was called, that helped me have a little bit more air. But luckily I should be able to get a little bit of stuff quicker, because I actually know where stuff is. So let me go and get some stuff, and I will be back in a sec. Right, guys, we're back. It's taken me a full day in-game to actually be able to get some stuff together. Uh, let's go over to the workbench gear. Let's build all the stuff that I've now lost. Uh, I've gone and got a whole bunch of resources. Uh, so... Need some silk rope for you. I can build the fin flops, which I definitely need. I need two more silk rope so that I can build the gill tube, which is a very, very useful thing. Uh, one thing that I did go and look at, because I didn't know what was wrong with it, they've changed the uh, the ingredients to make the smoothie. For anyone wondering how to now make the liquid gill smoothie, it is now one eelgrass. Oh, however it wants to uh, do it. One eelgrass one raw tadpole meat and one raw water flea meat and this is the new ingredients for their liquid gills craft um so this is how liquid gills is now made uh, and the old potions just no longer work in game apparently which is super useful uh so i'm going to craft a couple of these things that way i'll be able to actually die for a little bit longer i'm not sure if they've changed the actual effect of it um i still think it, it works for underwater i'm not sure if they've decreased the uh, the rate of it a little bit so but it means i can use it a little bit more usefully so i want to get rid of my armor because i'm not planning on fighting anything in particular and we'll get rid of you and i'm gonna oh i can actually research that i haven't researched that yet so let's put the tadpole meat on the hook because i might as well have that going get some more food on the go um maybe we'll quickly go and see uh, where burgle is over there just to research that as far as i'm aware it has remembered that i've researched the eel grass and the lily pad wax that seems to have remembered that perfectly fine um i might go and research the water boatman fin just while it's night time now because it's going to be very very hard to see under the water um if i let's equip my stuff now while i'm here so yeah i'm not really sure what happened with my save files from what i can work out it seems to have combined my last three save files and remember different bits from different save files. It's very strange. I remember some of the different things I had in my inventory. Let's uh, research this. Uh, I remember where I was standing from a previous save. Uh, oh, I don't get any new uh, new recipes from that. But this save file remembers all the raw signs that I collected, some of the materials that I collected, and the burgle chip, which was the most important one. My other save files before this one, there was no burgle chip. It just lost the ability to remember it was there. Uh, so I'm not I'm not sure what has happened with that. I mean, this update has been out now for like 
two in a bit weeks as far as I'm aware across the different platforms and I've not seen anyone have the same problems I have so I don't know whether this is a Xbox exclusive uh, problem. <laughs> Hopefully not, but uh, hopefully you'll remember my save when I finish this episode today. So let's uh, let's go and sleep, pop some food, get some water, and then hopefully I should be able to get down and collect my bag. Um, and then I need to try and find... I'm going to guess there's going to be more of the yellow turning machines for me to find somewhere in order for me to open the underwater base. I am not 100% sure. Let's, uh, let's I'm sleep. Ready to eat my pillow. I'm so tired. And then we'll grab some food from here. We might as well have our new grub jerky. Let's get you, eat you, drop our water down. Uh, so this one does have the 7,000 research science still going, which is what I like. Uh, that's why I've gone for this safe file over my other ones. Uh, so I've got my gills, I've got my tube attached. So I want to go back to where I was. I can't remember how many seconds of air this gives me is the only thing. So I'm gonna have to just use both my potions and hope it uh, hope it works for me. Uh, I might actually try and swim just a little bit. Whoop, I've gone all the way down. Uh, I've got to try and find the hole where I was originally as well now. But I want to... Okay, I look like I have 80-ish seconds of air, which would be quite useful. Um, where was the hole? Is it down here? It's a very black rock there. Um, oh, stay away from me, fish. <laughs> Don't make the day any worse for me. Um... But yeah, I do think I want to try and find... Oh, there's a... What's down here? A rock. Very nice. Um, I want to try and unlock that Mertin ability, just because that did give me more air. What I might actually do... Where was the hole? I seem to remember it being by a pipe. Uh, oh, what's that thing? Did I look at that last time? Is that the dome that I found last time? That looks to be a very... I don't think that's the same thing. What is that? Pond hatch. Wait, is there just a hatch to get in if I were trying to get into it all wrong? Uh, doesn't look like that does anything. Let's go up and get some air super quick because I am quite far underwater. There we go. Right. So I think what I'm going to do just for safety is I'm going to find where this hole is and then I'm going to uh, save my game. <laughs> Hopefully not losing all of my items in the process and then... So that was the that was the dome. I got under the dome, didn't I? Where was the hole that I was getting in through? Is the question. That's another interesting looking rock. What are you? Did I look at this last time? Nothing to do here. Is this just a hiding place from the fish? Uh, where is this fish speaking of it? He's over there. He's having a good old time. Let's keep going. There's the wedding ring. I seem to remember it being sort of near the weathering. I might just try and grab some air super quick from here. Don't know where that fish is. Oh. Where's my air bubble? <laughs> Give me the air. There we go. Take that. Okay, so I've got 80 seconds. So I think I've actually got 10 seconds less than what I wanted to have, which isn't very useful. Uh, was the hole beyond here? I think it was. Oh no, that was the bucket. I got that. We can go over here maybe. I seem to remember it being quite near a pipe. Uh, aha, here it is, right. Yes, I went down and round there. And then my bag is 200 meters that way. So, let's go back to the surface. There seems to be a, li a lily pad up there, which would be very, very useful for me. So we will use this lily pad as my reference point. There's also some raw science around here somewhere, apparently. Right, we're up here. Ooh. Okay, let's try and jump on here. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to create a new save. Important. So that I don't uh, don't go, yeah, look, all my auto saves all seem to remember me. Be so that's the save I've loaded today, where it has a picture of me on a rock. But for some reason, it loads me there inside of my house with my hammer and it just sort of forgot that I was there but has kept aspects of it. It's very strange. So, we're now here. I need to go down there. I still don't really know quite how long this is going to last for. So, okay guys, let's go for this dive. Let's pop our little liquid gills. That should give us a bit more 
Air, hopefully. Okay, we've got 100 seconds. That's pretty good, right? We're just going to dive straight down. I do now have my flip-flops and my uh, snorkely thing, which means that I should be able to breathe a little bit longer and swim faster, hopefully. <laughs> we can never be 100% certain in this game. So, it looks very dim down here. This is where I sort of wish I had the little globe. Let's keep going. So, we've seen... That one before, leave me alone, spider. So we definitely got that yellow one before. My bag's up there. I'm not even going to worry about the bag for now because I think I need to activate a third or maybe a fourth one of these yellow dials. I got this one to the left. I can see something yellow over there. What are you? Let's just keep swimming at good speed. I've still got a minute of air. That's looking good. Is that the last one behind there? I can see it sneaking out. And then I assume the door's going to open. Hopefully. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Okay. So, let's get around here. I've got 41 seconds. That's not a lot of seconds. Let's turn you. Okay. Let's try and swim up towards the door. Uh, how do I get in? Is that... Oh! Is that a door? Or is that still glass? Is this the door? That looks mechanical. Okay. Oh! <gasps> We're in! We're in! Right, we get, give me air! Give me air! <laughs> okay, I got in. I got... Okay. Uh, and now I'm locked out. Okay, where's my bag? Give me my bag. Okay, I'll take Royal Science. Uh, can I get my bag back, please? Oh, do I have to get my bag from outside? Let me... Uh, let's go get my bag. I want my stuff. Wait, what? Is my bag actually inside the glass? Uh, <laughs> game? <laughs> what is this? Can I actually not get this back at all? Well, that feels unfair. Hopefully I've already collected everything again that I needed to this episode. Uh, oh, what are you? Power grid control pull. Okay. Rerouting. Absolutely. Uh, any of these buttons do anything? Okay, so we're inside the little water base here. Uh, I look like I've lost my bag forever. <laughs> that will be. At least I have a little marker where my bag is, where I'll remember how to get to the base. Uh, okay. What's out here? Um, okay, what are you? Something broke out of you. That's probably going to be water spiders. Uh, you're nothing important. Let's go for a little wander. Oh, we got some more raw science. Raw science. Uh, nothing to do here. Wow, this looks like a big area. That takes me back to that main area. That's fine. Uh, oh, we got some diagrams of some seaweed. Oh, what are you? Camera. <laughs> Break the camera. Right. Uh, oh, they're growing. The eelgrass, are they? Uh, nothing to do with this machine, I don't think. Doesn't look like it that I can see. Uh, let's go back out here. What are you? Oh! I can set my respawn point here. <laughs> okay, well now I'm safely here. So if I... Oh, no, okay. Very awkward to pick up these bandages. Wow, okay. There we go. All right, let's pick up the bandages. Bandages are useful. Uh, oh, we got a... Ominent log. Practical Technologies, Dr. Wendell Tolley, Science Division, log 88.06.23a. Finally, my genius is recognized. My Locked. ominous minders have requested a demonstration of the spacer. I do wonder how they even found out about it. No doubt it was the loose lips okay. of that blabbing Klein. But perhaps his indiscretion has worked in my favor in this instance, and I will have the last laugh. Oh, wow. Once Omnid sees what I've accomplished here, I will prove that their many years of investment in me was not a mistake. Oh, I can see a scabby. How it will feel to have them watch me in my moment of triumph. This is what I've been working toward my entire career. Recognition at last. He's getting that recognition. Right, what else we got here? Uh, oh, aquaphonic results. What are they? Uh, aquaphonic cycle test day eight. Normal results once again, no red flags. Other observations. Trudy finds her ring better suited for the koi pond substrate than her finger. Note to self, 
work on making calls to the house, tell Burgle to fish that ring out of the pond. Well, we can get the ring if we need to. Uh, I did say I picked up two. No? I thought I picked up a second one. Uh, oh, I discovered the scabby, the shallows. Uh, that's nothing else interesting there. Okay. This looks like a large area to uh, look around here. Do I have anything to analyze? Uh, no. <laughs> of course not. Right. Uh, this computer doesn't do anything. Let's go back over here. What's through this door? Oh, just a way down. Where do you need to? Oh, it's getting darker. Okay. That looks like some sort of... Do I want to go down there? Can I get back out of there if I drop into there? Oh, it looks like the water's quite high, actually. Uh, where does this lead me? Ooh. Uh, okay. Can I do anything here? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Let's go back around. Okay, I take it I'll have to go upstairs. Looks like I can't seem to do anything down there. Uh, it's a nice spiral staircase. Okay, nothing particularly interesting. What are you? <laughs> we mash more keys. <laughs> Ooh. Well, there's the fish. Can I have a weapon to kill the fish? That would be useful. Land connected at Ion. Oh, 10 MPs. <laughs> I'm not doing very well, guys. Okay, so uh, we've opened the sphere. I think this is the dome. I think this is the dome we found in the last episode when we were outside. Can I jump back down here? Ooh, that was a <laughs> lot of gravity on there. Okay, so I take it that opened something here as well, maybe? Uh, what's down here? Did this lead to anything? Interesting. What are you? Oh, that was the vent. Oh, we found that little vent before. Okay, I don't mind. I don't care about you. <laughs> uh, I still need to find the burgle chip somewhere. Let's go for a swim. Fishbowl burgle chip. I assume it'll be in the lab. They're normally in the, uh, the new labs. I might go check out that whiteboard again in a second. I just want to make sure there was nothing up on top of here. Aha! On the chair! It's the pond burgle chip. So we can take that back to burgle. He can give us some more raw science. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else to do here. I mean, it's a nice little area. There doesn't seem to be uh, a great deal of new things. Hopefully that'll mean it will unlock something new from Burgle by giving him the new chip. Uh, yeah, giant fish eats everything. <laughs> That's what I can see. Tadpoles. Uh, there's the ring. There's our little dome. Okay, sounds good to me. That looks dangerous. Right, okay, so let's go. Uh, we probably want to give this back to Burgle. Can't even remember how to get back to the area where I came in now. So now we've got a way in. I, I'm really annoyed I can't get my bag back. Um, I, I definitely no way to actually get it. It's like stuck inside the glass. I preserved that bag forever. Uh, so what was also down here? What's around this little area? Uh, like what are all these things? Some sort of smashed hub or something. Uh, oh, ooh. Okay, I got pushed away then by something. Uh, is that a door? No. Uh, what are you? Oh! Sunken bone. Oh, I don't have my shovel on me. <laughs> oh, no, and I just dragged my truck. <laughs> oh, it's all going so terribly wrong. Oh, there's another scabby there. No, come here. Scabby. Scabby! <laughs> Come here. Muck. Some sort of ball. Okay. I probably need to get more air. Okay, so there's bones down here. So some fish never made it out alive. Uh, woo! Okay, there's a little, like, air propulsion thing under there that pushes you up through the main door. Um, so I wasn't... I would need to go get a spade while I'm finding out there in order to get the bones. How are we going to get back out of here alive? Is going to be my other question. Uh, where, was, where did I come in from? I can't even remember now. Did I come in from this way? I'm guessing I came in from this way. 
Let's go have a look what's over here. This is definitely not the way I came in, so hopefully there's a way out. Uh, there's some bubbles. Uh, go? Ooh, what's that? That looks menacing. Uh, I can see an air pocket. That looks good. Is that a dinosaur? <laughs> the sunken T-Rex. Sunken T-Rex has some science to me. Oh yeah, I'll take a nice little 600 raw science. Did I just see another one then by his feet? Uh, that does look like there's some sort of air bubble over there. There's more eel grass. Eel grass is useful. Um, where's the air bubble coming out of? Let's go and get the uh, the air bubble here. Can I get, trace that one up? Where does it go to? Okay, we're just in like a little cave. Ah, I need to... <laughs> Give me air, please. Bloop, there we go. Hello, Mr. Dinosaur. How are you? Oh, you have a thing. What's the thing? Pick it up. The Rotten Stinger Spear. Okay. That's a new thing. Let's grab some more air. I probably want to grab some of the... Uh, some of the eel grass while I'm here. Because this looks like quite a safe place to actually gather resources down here. Oh, what's that? Muddy scale? I also need a shovel for that. I need a shovel for a couple of things. Okay, so I need to get out of here somewhere. Uh, where's that little air bubble? Give me air. <laughs> so I need to go and get... Uh, oh! Wait, is this a... Where does this lead to? Ooh, we're finding more things, guys. Uh, okay. This comes up here. Okay, I'm just going to switch. Wait, is this the actual pond? Am I back in the pond now? Okay, that is real murky. I cannot see a thing there. Where does this come out at? I can see my zip wires. So that bodes well. Uh... Oh, I'm over by the ornament tower. Did I go like a really difficult way in? <laughs> so it's sort of just off from the, the juice. I basically need to just run off these lily pads. Okay, keep that in mind, guys. I'm going to go get a shovel. And we can go dig up some scales and bones, apparently. Uh, wow, I'm running very slowly here. Is that because I'm wearing the flip-flops? Does it make me quick underwater but slower out of water? I don't know. Right, let's... Um, I'll get some water. I want to go see Burgle real quick. And that way we can give him the Burgle chip, see what new things there are to unlock. And then we can go get a spade and dig up some scales and some bones, which sounds fun. There's some water. Okay, let's take one of my duplicated shovels that I now have. Uh, <laughs> I'll check you in there. Uh, okay, I don't want to lose that because I can't even make another one of them. Nice little granola bar. Ooh, look at that. Full food. Right, let's go see Burgle. Give him a chip. It's going to be very annoying that my bag symbol is going to be there. I don't know how long it takes for a bag to actually disappear. I don't know if it ever disappears. Or whether they just sort of respawn. Whether they'll make something that'll move that. I can't be the only person who's ever experienced that to get killed under that glass. That was such a mean <laughs> entryway in the last video. It means you couldn't get up. All right, let's go see Burgle. Burgly Burgle. I found a Burgle chip. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, I'll trade you some raw science. So, did we unlock anything new with our new chip? Yes, we did. Uh, buoyant foundation, a solid level foundation to which to build upon. Ooh! So we can build actually on the water. That sounds fun. Let's buy that. Uh, we got some new sign sets. Daydream. I don't really care about that. Shall I just do the shovel upgrade now? Yeah, why not? Let's just buy it. Uh, I never, ever have the canteen because... I don't know who would do that. I don't think I've ever made an eye patch in this game. Uh, I might as well take this scabby scanner. Uh, should we just... 
Oh, let's do the last. We'll do the last um, perk. There we go. So he spent a good 10,000 raw science, and he's just given us another 2,000 for doing it, is he? Oh, no, that was for uh, doing that. So we've got the new mutation. So I want to... Uh, did I actually ever turn on that Martin? I don't think I did. <laughs> that was a bit ridiculous, wasn't it? Right, let's turn on the uh, that to help us swim. What does it actually do? I can't even remember. Does it give us more air? I think it gave us a bit more air, didn't it? Um, I probably want the, the meat shield and... Cardio fan, so I don't use as much energy. That would probably be useful. Buoyant foundation. Oh, that could be fun, guys. We could make like a water base at some point. That could be a fun little episode. The problem with this game is that there is, um, you do sort of run out of interesting content, I think, sometimes to make on it. I know I've got my big castle build, but it does take a very long time to do. But uh, I'm hoping to finish my castle in the next big castle building episode I do. I'm just still trying to gather enough clay for it. And uh, there's been a lot of rugby on recently, so I've been spending a whole lot of time making rugby videos. <laughs> and they are on weekly, and it is a bit time-consuming to make some of them. So, hopefully I can have a bit of, uh, more interesting content for this game. Because I really enjoy Grounded, and I really wish they uh, were able to pump out the updates a little bit faster. It's not their fault, they're still in uh, early access. But they did have about two weeks difference from getting this out on PC compared to getting it out on... Uh, Xbox, which was a little bit annoying, but can't be helped. Right, let's keep diving down. Uh, I can see a, like a grey pipe. Is that where I was? I remember going quite deep down. The, oh, it's the lights. Alright, it's the light by the dinosaur. So, give me my shovel. I've got my new speedy shovel to use. Right, let's go find this muddy scale. Oh. I can't even see. Okay. Koi fish scale. Okay. What can we do with koi fish scales? Is that another one? Yes. So it does take two hits to do. I've got to say, I haven't noticed this go particularly quicker to use it. Uh, maybe a bit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's worth the 2,500 uh, raw science for it to be done. Right, is that a bone? Right, let's take the bone. I wonder if the rock cracker ability works with uh, with these that you wouldn't have to do. Oh, okay. The sunken bones only take one. That's fine. Okay, I need more air. Give me air, please. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I can now make a bone trident with that. That sounds fun. Okay. In fact, let's try and check that out quickly. Let's put on my... If I didn't have meat shield, if I put rock cracker on, does this allow me to do this in one hit? Yes, it does. Okay, so rock cracker is useful for this. Um, very concerned about going too far away from my air supply there. Uh, I don't know how many of these I'm going to need to build stuff. I take it I need to actually research these as well. Uh, I might as well grab as many as I can. I don't know how rare they are. Uh, okay, I can't see. It is very dark down here. I kind of wish I still had my slime mold lamp thing, but uh, the game decided nope. <laughs> No lamp for Mad Dragon. Oh my goodness, where did that even go? I can't, I can't even see. Okay, I tried up in the gamma a bit. And I can just about see <laughs> under the water. Everything is probably immensely poorly litter now, but I can actually see under the water for a bit. Oh, I've lost my bone. Did I manage to pick that up then? I don't think so. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize how much air I had left. Oh no. Go, 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 go. Did I actually miss that air? <laughs> By like millimeters. Uh, right, well luckily I did uh, set my respawn point two here, so I can hopefully just go back and get my bag. Uh, where is my bag? I'm very concerned I can't see my bag symbol. Oh, that was close. Okay. Uh, where is my bag gone? Oh, there it is. No. Uh, game. Wait, what? Why is it... what? 
Where is that? There. Why is my bag over there? <laughs> what? This game is so glitchy. This update is bizarre. I've had a bag get stuck in a in a glass tube. I've had my bag teleport halfway across the map. I've had three save files combine into one. <laughs> this is the joy of early access right here. Okay, let's go and uh, grab my bag. And uh, hopefully everything's okay inside of it. I wasn't paying attention to how much air I had left, which was stupid of me. Okay, I'm apparently 60 centimeters away from my bag. I have no idea. We've gone past the science machine. I don't even know where this is. Oh, great. Let's put it in a cave somewhere. Uh, oh, this is the spawn zone. It's put my bag all the way back in the spawn zone. Well, luckily, it hasn't lost any of my items. What a weird glitch that <laughs> if, you, if you die. I mean, it would have been useful to have done that with my other bag. Yeah, but it decided not to do it for that time. Okay, this game looks really bad now because I've got all the brightness and all the contrast put up on it because I couldn't see under the ground. That's my first ever lean-to I think I ever made there. Well, let's get back. Uh, oh, in fact, let's go analyze these koi scales and the, uh, the sunken bones. That'll be interesting to see what they do. Okay, let's go see what Burgle has to say about these things. Oh, not Burgle, sorry, the uh, analysis machine. This is probably just the closest one to get to. So, uh, I did bring the spear. I can't analyze the spear. I can analyze the scale. Let's see what the scale gives me. Science. Koi scale, koi chestplate, koi... Okay, so we've got a whole new set of armor to do with the koi carp. Interesting. And the sunken bone. What does the sunken bone make for us? A bubble helmet. That sounds fun. Okay, let's uh, let's go see what it takes to make those. Uh, I take it if there's three pieces of armor, I'm going to need a lot more scales. Which could be a bit of an issue. Let's go and uh, have a look. All right then, guys. Let's have a look at what it takes to make these things. So, workbench gear, first of all. Uh, right, here we go. So, uh, I need two for the Koi scale helmet. Five for the armor. Oh, I also need bones for all these as well. Three for the legs. So I need to get three, five, so I need ten scales and five sunken bones. And I do actually want to pick up some more lily pad wax, I think. I've got quite a bit of the grass strands. I don't have a lot of the lily pad wax. Right, so let's dump the you back in there. And oh, I have two lily pad wax. I need to get a little bit more of that as well. Let's check you in there as well. I need to make a new chest for just all my <laughs> underwater items. Right, let's check you back on there. Uh, okay, apparently that swaps it out now. Let's do you. So let's go and put my spider armor back so I have to get that to run halfway across the map. Uh, there we go, and there we go. Swap out to my water equipment. What did it take to make the bubble helmet, actually? Where was the bubble helmet? There we go. Uh, for that, I need five bones, four eel grass strand, four rope. Okay, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I need nine bones and ten scales to make the uh, the new armor and stuff. So keep that in mind. I've already got a bit. What was in my workbench tools? All oh, the bone tridents. So yes, uh, diving bell spider. Oh, I haven't actually killed any diving bell spiders anymore because I lost my my other ones. I need another three bones. Uh, in fact, do I? Oh, I don't. I need more lily pad wax for that. I actually kind of want to make that to help me find the scales and stuff that are underwater. And then this will be the new water foundation, which I love the idea of doing buoyant foundation. It's going to take loads of berry leather. That will take a lot of berries to chop down. That might take a, a little while to build some of that stuff. But that could be fun as a, as a new base building idea. Um, Acorn shovel plus. Oh, it's actually a different shovel. Oh, I didn't realize it made a new shovel. I just thought it was a passive ability. Uh, oh, well, in that case, let's uh, let's put my this shovel away. Uh, I don't need you anymore. Bloop. Uh, what did I say I needed for it? So I need two sprig, one rope, one acorn shell. I definitely have that. Can't remember what it was. <laughs> two and one of you. There we go. That should be enough to make one of you. There we go. And I'll put back whatever I didn't use then. One rope. Of course it was. Okay, I've got my new uh, shovel. Let's put you on the hotbar in the shovel slot. So I want to go get... In fact, I think it's probably worth getting some lily pad wax so I can make the lantern. 
and then I can just dive down and go and get the rest. So, yeah, let's go get some lily pad wax, and I think I have enough for everything else. Go, 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 go. Uh, right, over here, let's jump off here, because these are the closest lily pads. I actually think the dinosaur is, like, just over there. It's really easy to get to from my base, especially with my zip wire, because you actually dive really far under the water the first time you land off a zip wire from that height, which is really nice. Oh, I got something chasing me. Oh, I also need to kill some of those diving bell spiders as well. That's going to be fun. Uh, let's get some of you. I do remember they poisoned you. I can hear something chasing me. Oh, it's <laughs> I love that they chase you now as if they're ever going to do anything terrible to you. I don't think I've even been hit by one. I just think they get annoyed at you and then they just sort of swim by you. I don't even know if they do any damage. I haven't technically been hit by one yet. Oh, there's the koi carp. Of course, there's the koi carp. Why wouldn't it be right there? <laughs> exactly where I need to be. Let's keep going. Uh, I actually don't remember how many of these I wanted to get. I'm to six. I've got two in my bag. I might get to like ten, maybe. Let's... Ah! Get under. There we go. Okay. If I, you know what, I need to get more lily pad. Oh, there we go. There's loads. This is what I needed. The jackpot! Do, 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 do. Boom! There we are, straight up to 14. Nice and easy. Stay away from me, fish. I can see you. You are not welcome here. <laughs> Get up there. Right, I need to go over here. Let's go build the slime stalk. Okay, so I need a bunch of these. I can't remember how many. Uh, I'll just take a whole stack of them there. And I think I needed woven fiber. Was the last thing to go with that? Am I correct in saying that? Uh, where is it? Workbench tools, maybe? There we go. Uh, oh no, so I need eelgrass strands. I was completely wrong. No idea what I was doing. <laughs> so let's grab you, and we can make you. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I should have enough, and I've got a lot of lily pad wax. That should be fine. So I just need to go get a whole bunch more scales and a whole bunch more bones. So let's do you. Let's go for a dive. I want to put my lantern on as well, so that I'll be able to actually see down there. That'll be useful. Let's take a zip line. Get ready to dive, dive, dive. All right. I can see some bubbles there. I think that's where it actually comes out from. So we're going to dive down. Use the speed. Boom! There we go. Straight down. Look at this. That's how you get down quicker. There's the dinosaur eye. Oh, we still got 80 seconds of... Beautiful air remaining down here. Right, I can't see down here. Let's get our lantern out. All right, shadows. Watch yeah, out. this is how it's used. <laughs> I did think when I built this in the last episode that it was for uh, being able to see underwater. Like, to, to actually get rid of the gloominess as opposed to the darkness. But it seems to just do purely darkness. Right, let's keep an eye on how much air I have because I don't want to do something stupid again and die down here. Oh, what are they? Are they something? Or is that just aesthetic moss? Uh, okay, I don't see anything around there. Let's grab a quick air bubble, because it's always useful. Bloop, there we go. Okay, I've got another 90 seconds. That should be enough. I'm looking forward to getting the, uh, the Mertine perk up to full, so that you can actually breathe for a good amount of time underwater then. Oh! Quite hard to hit some of these things underwater when you're swimming about, but luckily I have had a lot of practice <laughs> with getting clay. Oh, I didn't even need to get that one. It was already out of the water. Or out of the mud, sorry. Uh, there's another one. Definitely finding a lot more of the sunken bones than the scales at the minute. I think once I get to about 40 seconds, I want to rush back. I'll say that I am quite far over here now. I thought they were just spawning near the, the dinosaur, but I... I'm quite far towards the lab now. That's not another one. That's just mud. Oh, there's a bone. There we go. We'll take you. There's another scale. We'll take you. Okay, let's go get some air from up here. He says, as he's just realized <laughs> how far away he actually still was from that. So I think this is like a little air vent. I think this like pushes you up. Like, you go really quickly, so much so you actually hit your head. <laughs> there we go. So that's actually quite useful just to uh, get up to the base really quickly if you don't have a lot of air. Probably should have used that last time if I had known that was a thing before I drowned against the glass forever. 
So let's break open that one. Anything else interesting down here? Doesn't look like it. I actually quite like this uh, little slime lantern thing. There's a lot of. It's very useful just for the uh, darker areas of the map here to actually be able to see very easily. This is a nice little addition. Sometimes in some of the murky water, especially when it's very sort of covered in all the leaf aesthetic bits they had, like all the broken leaves, it can get a little bit difficult just to actually see anything. And I end up having to up the contrast in the game to like full just to be able to see because they obviously stopped you being able to use torches and stuff quite as easily underwater. Uh, let's go back up again, get some more air. Bloop. Oh, he says he's stuck again. I am a little bit annoyed about my bag though. I will never be able to get that bag back. <laughs> I'm really uh, glad that because that bag is stuck, I got very lucky with a stuck bag, but also that everything is has been duplicated when I loaded this save. So I haven't lost like my my mint mallet and stuff. I actually still got all of that stuff and it's given me another bow. Maybe that's why everything was duplicated. Maybe the game sort of got a little bit broken because it didn't realize how I could get all my stuff back if the bag was stuck inside the glass. So I'm kind of glad it has done that actually in the end. Uh, can't see any more. We'll take a little bit of a swim. We can probably get back to the dinosaur from here. Hoping I'm going the right way anyway. There's another bone and another scale. Is this the way? Is that not the way to the... It's not the way to the dinosaur. <laughs> abandon, abandon. Let's get back up here. And uh, there's not like another air vent there. We'll take another big gulp of air, and then we'll go and get uh, those ones over there. And my slime lantern has actually still got like half its uh, ability left. That's quite nice. So it does. It does last quite a while. I wonder if they'll add in something to make us like a slime lantern plus. I don't know. They tend to have a lot of plus versions of different utilities. They did the torch, and now they've got the shovel. Uh, I mean, I don't. I can't say I notice a great deal of difference in the speed of the of the new shovel to the old shovel. It is it is a slightly quicker. I can tell there's a a speediness about it, but nothing extraordinary. I've not been blown away by like I could rapid fire a spade out there, but it might be useful for some uh, underwater foraging like this. So I've got nine bones. Uh, I haven't been paying attention to how many scales I got. I only needed like another five scales, and I think I should definitely have another five by now. Uh, oop, I went over the air vent. Well, it looks like I'm <laughs> having no choice but to get some more air. Loop, let's get that back up as much as we can. We'll go on another swim. I don't think I came on the far wall along here. Any sunken bones? There's a bone down here. Bloop. Ah, come here. <laughs> okay. Nothing else particularly interesting over here. Okay, I seem to have cleared out pretty much everything off the floor here. So, hopefully I have enough to actually make all of the different things. If not, that might be something we do in the uh, the following episode. Look at this dinosaur. It's so cool under the water. Right. Let's grab an air bubble on our way up just to help us. There we go. Oh, just as our torch ran out. That was useful. So, let's get back up here. Bloop. <laughs> we'll chase the air up. Uh, where's my house? This way. Let's try and get back onto my lily pad. Let's go back to the house and make some of these new armor bits. Okay, so let's grab all of our various underwater bits from here. Uh, I don't think I needed any more boatman fin. I hope I didn't anyway. So let's grab all of that. That's everything I had from my underwater adventures. So uh, I should have... Oh, I need three silk rope to make the helmet, which I should have. I think I've still got more silk rope being made up top. So let's make the helmet. And we can make the chest plate. And we can make the greaves. Uh, I don't need the fin flops, the bubble helmet. I need another four of these to make the bubble helmet. What does the bubble helmet do? Improves the piece of respiration air gear. Combined sunk and sunken bones and other hydrophobic tools to make even more air pockets for extending water breathing. So that might just increase your air time by more. I'm not sure. We'll put that in though. 
Uh, and then what else did we want to make? What was our weapons? I don't know if I'll have enough of the weapons. Uh, that might be something we'll have to do in the next one. Yeah, we need the we need the diving bell spider chunks for those. We don't have those. That'll be something we can do uh, next time. Let's check on this armor and let's have a look at it. Uh, so let's put on, first of all, all the koi armor. Yeah, look at us now. <laughs> now we're like a fish. There we are, guys. There's us in our koi armor. I don't actually know what it... Uh, what did it say it did, the actual... Uh, I don't actually know what it does. Let's have a look quickly at what it actually did for us. So it gave us perfect block ability. So it's very defensive-based. Um, I don't know if it gives you... Offers increased protection without sacrificing style. Okay, so it's just a very defensive piece of armor. I don't know if it does anything particularly in the water. Maybe it still helps you swim quicker. Um, but it looks like you couldn't have that attached with that. So you either have fast speed, even though it's two different things. There's no way you could uh, equip both, which is a shame. It'd be quite nice to also attach the, uh, the flip-flops onto that armor. I think that would be uh, pretty cool. And then we have the diving helmet which just sort of looks like a hat. It doesn't really look like a bubble helmet. Uh, helps us breathe underwater a little bit more. Uh, that might be interesting. Let's go quickly uh, jump in the water and we'll just see how much more that actually adds for us to be able to breathe underwater. It's, uh, I believe I can fly. <laughs> Let's do some diving. Here's a veteran diver technique. Whoosh. Bloom. There we go. Wow. We've got a hundred and... 75 seconds. Well, this is the thing we should have made first. <laughs> oh, I can swim forever now. That's wonderful. <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous, actually, how easy that is now. I can do some interesting things now. I wonder what wonder order with this new diving bell helmet. This might be my favorite helmet out of all of them. You can just explore. I really enjoyed the, uh, the new water update, actually. Apart from some of the weird glitches that I seem to have experienced, the water update has added a whole new different sort of dimension literally to this game, you know, the ability to swim underwater, fighting the fish, maybe eventually they'll add in something to actually kill the uh, the koi carp, I think that'll be fun, but uh, until then I'll try and stay out of his way. Uh, I hope you've all enjoyed today guys, I've really been having fun playing this game, and it's so nice to be able to get back into ground now that they finally got the updates, we have achieved quite a lot today actually, we managed to get into that base, we did manage to retrieve my bag, which is annoying, we had to basically start from scratch because of the glitches. We found a dinosaur, which is always fun. Uh, we've created new armor. We've got new helmets. We've got new different items, which I'm really, really loving. Uh, we managed to find the burgle chip. There's actually been a really productive episode. I have been recording for nearly three hours now, <laughs> having to go back and get all my other stuff that I lost. Uh, obviously, the game sort of forgot how far along I actually was. I don't notice this is a particularly quicker, this shovel. It's literally managed to get away from me. <laughs> Some questionable things about this speedy shovel there. Uh, but if you are enjoying this game, guys, if you're enjoying what we played, I'm sorry I've had to abandon it for so long just because there was nothing really to do update-wise for this game. But if you are enjoying it, guys, make sure you drop it a like. It's feeling so good to be back and grounded. And if you want to keep up to date with all of our content that we've got coming out on the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I do try and put out videos every single week. Uh, most days that I try and get some stuff out. Uh, the rugby's definitely dominated recently just because it's something I really, really enjoy as a as a pastime, as a hobby, as a sport to watch, but I do love getting back in and playing these games. But I will promise I will keep trying to make uh, some of my games videos as we keep on going. I hope you all enjoyed today, guys. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.